I just pulled down a dirt road and somewhere in Brown County, Texas and saw these golden berries so thought I just would have to make a video about it. I found this western soap berry on the side of the road and here you can see these giant golden berries and this is why it's called soap berry is these are full of saponin. The scientific name for this species is it's in the Sapindaceae family. Sapindus saponaria, variety Drummondii, and uh, the saponin in these berries is actually a natural soap. It makes suds and makes a lather. So Native Americans and early settlers in Texas and across the U.S. use this as a soap substitute. It's got compound leaves here, um, so it's pretty easy to identify. Uh, the golden berries, of course, are even easier to identify, but the leaves are interesting in that they are compound, but not really opposite, so they kind of alternate sometimes up the stem, uh, up the leaf stem, rather than uh, coming out opposite and paired. These come out alternating, so that's kind of a unique trait. Uh, these soap berries were also used um, as a way to fish because the suds that it makes are actually toxic to fish so it would stun them and then you could easily pick the fish out of a pond while they're stunned from these suds that this soap berry makes. But it's a really cool tree. It's extremely hardy. It's uh, very useful for many kinds of wildlife. Um, it's very desirable uh, landscaping plant and uh, I just recommend it for all sorts of uses and if you have it on your property then then keep it there. It's just a great tree. But that's our soapberry. We'll see you next time uh, when we find the next cool plant.